Okay, today I'm making a video on cleaning aquariums. Earlier I made a video on just showing you all my aquariums, but I'm showing you how to clean them. And uh, I just used uh, a hose to drain it into a bucket, a little teal or a bucket. But uh, to start, I'm just going to start the siphon. And I think everyone who's ever siphoned gas, which is most people, has at least some idea of how this goes. Try not to get fish water in your mouth, but that's pretty easy not to. Okay, so the way I do that is... I suck up some water, but I hold it above the aquarium, and I tap it off with my thumb so the water can't escape, and then I bring it down to the bucket. Because if you start below, a lot of times you won't actually get the um, siphon started, but I'm just going to be sucking up probably 50% of the water and uh, getting out any anything I can really see. And usually hope that you don't get some type of plant bulb stuff in there. Throw that back there. Okay, um, just draining out a lot of the water, getting it nice and clean. Normally I would turn all the lights off and make sure if you have a heater and a filter you turn that off. But uh, I just left that light on so you can see what I'm doing. So it will burn your plant loose if you're not careful. Now I just get one of these algae scrubs. There is, which uh, you can usually buy at like Walmart, which store you should never buy anything from, but you know, it is cheap. Um, and if this won't take it off, you can use a toothbrush, but I'd use a fine bristle toothbrush just to ensure you don't damage the glass or scratch it up. And you can also do this before you drain the tank, but as long as the glass is wet, it works fine. And this, it's really important to do this uh, just to get some of the nitrogen out and displace it. But uh, having plants helps too. And I do water changes. I do 50% of water changes once a week. And a lot of people say uh, you shouldn't do 50%, you should do like 10%. Well, 